Uh, well, Pat, I'm going to have to stop you there very quickly because we okay. actually have the goal scorer here well. alongside us. How are you doing? First of all, congratulations on the win. Tell us what your yeah. secret is, really. I think we do have another microphone for you. There you go. Perfect. You don't have to share, Tony. Don't worry about it. We'll have each, each one for each of you. Congratulations on the win. You just love coming to Stamford Bridge, don't you? Is, what is the secret here? You're the first team ever in the Premier League to win in their first three visits to Stamford Bridge. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but, you know, each year we've come here, um, we've got the game plan spot on, um, you know, with their top quality side. You've seen in the last few weeks, their performances have been raised and, you know, we, we worked really hard in training. We knew we was going to be under under the cost for long periods, but it was about staying in the game, staying focused, compact and just trying to frustrate them. What was the messaging from the manager coming into this one, knowing that record? Yeah, it was just to, to try and do it again, you know, have the belief. Um, you know, we've been in the position before. Um, we know that the longer the game goes on, the more they get they can get frustrated. Um, a big thing was set pieces and counters. Um, and, you know, we, we've worked on the set piece and it's, it's come off today. Can I, can I ask a quick question? What were you doing there at the back post? <laughs> did, you, did you think, did you think it was a foul? To be... well, when the ball the... went out for a throw-in, did initially, did you think it was a foul and you pushed up then or did you come up for the throw-in? Oh, uh, come up for the throw-in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can, can since you're here, why don't, we talk us, why don't you talk us through your goal then and what, what you saw at that point in time? Yeah, so I just tried to like kind of try and hang back and stay on the shoulder of the last defender. And, you know, as soon as I've seen the, the flight of the ball, my eyes have kind of just lit up because I could see that he, he was a little bit under it. And at that point, it was just making sure that I attacked it and got a solid contact. And yeah, um, the timing was perfect in the end. The defender got caught square. Yeah. I didn't see you come in. You wouldn't yeah, have allowed that to happen, would you? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been always half, open, always half open. Half I'm always just open. Saying, I'm just saying now, how compact the team was, how well you defended, and the resilience within the group as well, you yeah. know, to keep going. And the, the goals just giving you more energy, more life, more air. You know, to keep fighting and chasing and stopping crosses coming in and defending crosses. It's a fabulous performance defensively. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a big win. I mean, prior to this against Burnley, it's an even bigger win here today against Chelsea as you go into quite a tough few fixture. I believe West Ham, Liverpool, Arsenal is what you face over the next few weeks. Yeah. How much confidence will the win today help you going into the next couple of weeks? Yeah, it should give us, uh, should give us huge confidence. Um, you know, before these last two results, uh, I thought there were there were quite a few games where we played well, probably deserved to get a bit more out of the games. But, you know, we didn't let our heads drop. Um, we stuck to the game plan. We kept believing in what we're doing. And, you know, it's, it's worked out last two games. So that should build our confidence going into the, to the next round of fixtures. And, you know, the boys are really looking forward to it. You talk about the, the next three games, West Ham, Liverpool Arsenal, and Arsenal. Arsenal yeah. Two of them are in London. You're quite good in London, aren't you? <laughs> like, honestly, your record in London has been fantastic. It doesn't matter where it is. You seem to be brilliant here. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know what it is, really. <laughs> um, yeah. maybe, maybe the boys like the short journeys, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, but, we... but One of the things I was watching today, we, when you got the first goal, there seemed to be a real growth and a real belief in the team. Is that partly because, right, you know what you have to do defensively, but you know you've got that pace up front that's always going to get you out of a trouble, ever hold. Just need to get it up there and they will chase everything. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we've got the clean sheet today and I think, you know, the boys up front and the boys in midfield, they work mm -hmm. extremely hard for us as well. Um, you know, they, they make sure they get back, get under the ball and, you know, they're still a threat on the counter. Uh, as you can see with the last goal, um, great ball from great from nil to recognise that Brian was there and yeah. you know I think a big credit to them as well. I mean how impressive has uh, Brian Buemo been this season? I mean his goal involvement this season stepping in for obviously Ivan Tony's not been around yeah. for a while now for him to step up to that challenge and produce the goals that he has. Yeah he has really stepped up um, you know uh, you forget how young he is because he's, he's played so many games already but you know he's, he's still improving he's still a young player and you know he's, he's really took it upon his shoulders to, to get to get them goals and to get them goal involvements and you know he's he's a top quality player and you know it, let's hope he just keeps going so what is the goal this season because you started off the season really well i believe was it against spurs without the first game yeah and then yeah, you win yeah. against fulham is that right and yeah. then it, like you said they, you dropped off a little bit and now mm -hmm. you're picking things up again yeah where's the goal post this season 
Um, we try not to put, you know, a, a position or a specific thing on it, but, you know, we, we always want to look forward rather than, you know, watching over our shoulder. So, you know, we're, we're looking forward at the teams ahead of us and we go into every game seeing, seeing what we can do to, to tip it in our favour to get the three points. And, you know, I think it's really important. Every to, time Brentford to, stay in the Premiership. Yeah. They've won the yeah, lottery. They have. Yeah. It's, it's just absolutely fantastic that a club, where they've come from, um, year in, year out, if they can stay in the Premiership, have good cup runs, um, that's the <laughs> yeah. next aim, you know, to give the supporters something else as well, then they've been successful. And they were successful last year. If they stay in this year, they'll be successful again. Because you have a look at the clubs in the Premiership and also have a look in the Championship, how many big clubs are not in the, the, the Premier League. You know, these lot have done absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, you actually, I think Brentford just looked comfortable there. No, you know, yeah. there was a time where it was a fight, it was a worry, it was a concern. To me, you look really, really comfortable. Can I ask a really technical, boring question about the game? <laughs> you play the three at the back against the bigger teams, maybe away from home, but, you know, other times it's the two centre-backs. Yeah. Do you have a preference? Um, not really, because, um, you know, I think... You know, the, we, the way we work on it, you know, we're, we're really adaptable for both. Um, obviously, like you said, the, the teams where we're going to maybe have less of the ball and, mm -hmm. you know, we're going we're gonna to be chasing it a bit more. Obviously, um, we, we go in the free more often than not. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have a specific Just as preference. long as you're playing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> as long as I'm out there, I'm happy. Well, Ethan, it's great that you've come to speak to us here today. We're going to have to let you go. I believe uh, you've got certain things to do right after <laughs> yeah. this as well. So congratulations once again. And uh, thank you so thank much you for, for joining us. I'm going to grab that off well you. Done, I'm not very go. rudely reaching my hand out. No, well done, I'm going to pass this back. There you go. Thank you so much, Ethan.